Okay, welcome to part three of Space War uh, in Python 2.7 using the Turtle graphics module and classes. So, uh, so far this is what we have. We've got a little spaceship that we can move around using the left arrow, right arrow. We can slow down using the down arrow. We can speed up using the up arrow. So what we want to do is we want to add uh, to our game uh, a border so that the spaceship has kind of an arena and an area to fly in. Um, so what we want to do is because we want to keep our game object oriented as, as much as possible, this isn't perfectly object oriented but it's pretty close, um, at least explains the, the concepts. Um, so we're going to create a class and we're going to call it game. Okay, very original. and we're going to do the constructor and self. So this is where we're going to keep all the game information and some of the methods that have to do with the game itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is self.level. So our game is going to have a level and we'll start at level one. Uh, the game is going to have a score and of course the score always starts at zero. The game is going to have a state. Okay, What that means is what's going on in the game right now. So are we playing the game? Um, are we waiting for the player? Is the game over? You know, what's what's the state of the game? That'll come in handy uh, a lot later. And I'm going to call this playing. So we just want to jump right into it. And what we need to do is with we're going to use the game object to draw the information on the screen, such as level or the number of players, you know, that kind of thing. And, and the score, of course. So I'm going to create a little pen, self.pen, and it's going to equal turtle. I guess we're going to create a new turtle for the pen to draw things. And this will be, well, I guess we can put that there, the number of lives for the player. Um, I could put, I guess I could put it in the player sprite as well. Um, Okay, so what we need to do is we need to draw a border. So it's very simple. We're just going to draw some lines, uh, okay, on our screen. So you remember our screen kind of looks it's kind of squarish. It's I think plus four hundred this way, minus four hundred. So I think the screen that pops up is eight hundred by eight hundred. So we're going to draw inside of that. Uh, 300 by 300. So self.pen speed is 0. Okay, that's the animation speed. So what we've got here is we've got the game object or the game class. It's got a pen which we created here. This pen is a turtle. That turtle has a method called speed. So we're getting a little deep here. So self.pen.color. So all the things you can do with a turtle, uh, you can just Substitute that in. Okay. Self.pen.size. So we want the border to be kind of thicker than normal. Okay. Now, turtles always start at 0, 0 when you create them. That's just one of those things in, in the turtle module. So we want our self.pen.go to. So minus 300, 300. So it's going to start minus 300. 300, I think that's how it works. Or maybe it's down here. Um, yeah, it's going to start us up here. Okay. So it's going to go forward, turn right, forward, turn right, forward, turn right, forward. It's going to create a little square. So for side, that's square. It has four sides. Oh, I'm going to put the pen down. Self.pen.pen. And self.pen.fd. 600. Self, self dot pen uh, RT ninety up self dot pen dot we want to hide the pen then and what we have to do is we've defined it so now we actually create the game object so create 
you have to remember, classes are, they define what something is like. But until we actually create one, we're not actually using it. So game equals game. So now let's draw the border. So that's going to be game dot draw border. Okay. And let's save that and run it and see what happens. So I'll just size. Okay, so size was incorrect. It is pen size. Okay, so I've got a border now. Um, now what happens when I hit the border? Nothing. Okay, so that's gonna be our next job. So we wanna make sure that when something hits the border, it doesn't go through it. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do that. Um, now the thing is, we gotta think about this. We want, do we want just our player to do that or do we want all of our sprites to, tr to uh, do something at the border? So hopefully if you're thinking this through, It's all the sprites. Okay, so in my sprite class, because I want this to work for every sprite and child of sprites. Okay. And we're gonna do that. Um, what do we call that? Give me a second here. Let's turn into a rather big program and don't have all the. I'm just trying to remember what I call that that method. Um, oh, okay. I know what I did. Okay, so inside my move, I said so boundary detection. So what we have to do is remember it's zero zero in the center, so plus three hundred is the limit here, minus three hundred is the limit here. So what we're going to do is so on the right side, what we do is we go if player, sorry, if self dot x core, so that's the x coordinate is greater than two ninety. Basically, we just have have it turn sixty degrees. Let's see what that does. Do you see that? So as soon as it hit the, hits the border, gets over 290, it turns. Okay, so we can do the same thing. Oops. Okay, so we can do the same thing on the other end. So if it's less than minus 290, and we do the same thing for the y coordinate. So, so you can see what's happening now. Every time it's the border, it turns. I want you to have if I speed it up. Now you notice because it's going really fast, it's getting outside the lines a little bit. So we really want to avoid that. I mean, it's still working, which is which is nice, but it gets stuck up here. It's not it's not pretty. So what we want to do is, if it is over that, then we set it back to that. So self. Dot x core. Oops. Um, set x. Sorry. Set x. Two ninety. So if it's two ninety one, set it back to two ninety, so it doesn't go off the screen. Okay. So self dot set x minus 290 self dot set oops, set y 290 and self dot set y minus 290 okay so it's so you see how now it's So 
So it, doesn't, it never really goes outside of the border. A little bit, the, the, the plus. You can change, play with the numbers a little bit, but you get the idea. Okay, so we have now created our game object, and we've created an instance of the game object. This just keeps track of things that are important in the game. So the level, the score, the state of the game, which will be very important later. And we created a little pen so that we can draw some information. So we draw the border, use the pen, and we make sure we hide that turtle so we don't really need to see that. Um, and yeah, I think that should do it. And then also we check the uh, boundary checking. So if the x or y coordinate uh, becomes too great, we set it back to that coordinate and then we turn so it doesn't go off the screen. Okay. And we put that into the sprite class. So all of the children, so it's in the sprite class, so that means that the player, I didn't have to put it here for the player, because the player inherits all of this from the parent class, which is sprite. 